Hey, what's up everybody? Dave the Magician here. Uh, welcome to a brand new segment called Dave's Robotics Lab. Um, not everybody knows I'm into robots. I like to, I got all kinds of different experiments going on here and so I thought I'd uh, share them all with you. Hopefully you find them interesting or, or helpful in your projects and so let's get started. The first project that I'm working on right now, and this is uh, pretty close to being done actually, this little robot right here. This was a robot my parents bought my daughter. And it was just kind of a boring robot. It just went back and forth. It had a light in there, but that was about it. It wasn't even uh, like a color changing. It wasn't like a color changing R um, LED. It just was a single light. Kind of boring. And it was on this tether. It was on a like a leash almost. And you push forward and backwards and it went forward and backward. And, and the leash was only about uh, maybe six inches long. So it my daughter would carry the poor robot by its leash like a tail and just drag it around. So... Um, I thought that it, it just wasn't, it, it sucked. It was a shitty toy. So what I did was I made it cool. Uh, as you can see, I put ultrasonic uh, sensors here as eyeballs. Hi, hi. And then what, what else I did was you'll see here, I've got a red, green, blue, an RGB LED right here. And the reason for that is the dome inside here uh, will turn colors now. Um, and the colors will indicate the robot's mood, uh, its interactions with the outside environment, and that sort of thing. Um, the other thing I thought that would be kind of cool is the arms didn't move at all. Uh, you can see right here, uh, right on this side, somewhere right here, right there. Yeah, anyway, uh, the arm is anchored uh, right here. So what I did on the other side is I installed a motor. Maybe I can get in here. Hi. Let's see, there's a motor right there. And uh, so now I'm going to have control of that arm. I'll actually be able to move that arm and wave and it's going to do, it's going to break dance and it'll do the robot with that arm and go back and forth and stuff. So um, I think that's kind of cool. Uh, let me see, get this out of this light here for you. Uh, let's see, what else I got going on? Uh, I'll show you the base. Um, the base is right here. Again, this thing, this is the old base and it only had uh, one set of wheels. Um, so I yanked, I yanked them off and, um, and I'm sure I'll do something with them, but it was one set of wheels. And so it didn't turn, it just went forward and backward, like I said. So what I had to do is I had to modify these little mini servos I got right here and, uh, modify them so that they're continuous rotation. They don't stop at, at uh, 180 degrees. They'll just keep going and going. And now, now there's two of them. So now I've got, um, what's called differential steering. Uh, one wheel will spin faster than the other, make it go left or right, depending on, on its environment. And what's really cool is by adding this, um, these ultrasonic sensors, hey, um, it'll actually be able to interact. So when things get too close, it'll back up, look to the left, look to the right, find where the path of least resistance is, and then head in that direction. So it's kind of cool. And then it'll wave goodbye, bye, as it's doing its thing. Um, let's see, uh, what else can I tell you about this? Uh, oh, here is how I'm handling the back and forth uh, independent control of the motors. Uh, this right here, this right here is the board um, from a broken uh, remote control vehicle I had. And there's two chips on here. One's uh, what's called an RF chip. It's a radio frequency chip. Uh, receives the radio frequencies and decodes it. And then the other is what's called an H-bridge. And an H-bridge allows these motors to go back and forth independently. So I'm going to have to trace um, the little pins here and find out which ones do which. But what's kind of nice is... Uh, right here, you can see it's got all the outputs and they're really easy to connect to. And it's got a, uh, in the back here, it's got forward, back, left, right, um, power and all that. So it makes it really easy to hack. I'm going to go ahead and hack into this and then um, we'll use this to control the motors. But ultimately, the brains of the operation are this thing right here. This is uh, one of my favorite toys right here. This is an Arduino microprocessor. This is the Arduino Nano. Mini Pro, some shit like that. It's the, uh, yeah, the Pro Mini 3, uh, 328. Um, if you're not familiar with them, they're really cool. They do a lot of shit. There's a lot of pins to tap into. And so all of my LED lights, my motors, and everything will be controlled by this. Uh, and ultimately, it will be remote control, uh, again, using that H bridge and everything. So I'll kind of go step by step as it happens. But this right here, the Arduino Nano Pro Mini. Uh, awesome. Takes a little bit. It takes. It's there's a learning curve. If you're familiar with the standard Arduino, uh, there is a lear little learning curve uh, to go to the Pro Mini, but it's definitely worth it because you miniaturize your robotics. So anyway, that's what's going on here in Dave's Robotic Lab, and uh, I'll see you next time.